All right, guys, we have a set of running boards for Tim's 2024 Tacoma right here in this box. I don't know nothing about these. They could be great, they could be terrible. I really have no idea. We're gonna find out on uh, this episode of Are They Any Good? Probably the cheapest running boards on all of Amazon for a new Tacoma. And now that it's lifted up and whatnot on the new tires, he wants some what he calls lady steps. First impression so far, nice package. Okay, so here are the Comnova running boards right here. Very light, I think they're aluminum with a powder coat on them. What do you guys think from a design standpoint? It's repping Comnova pretty hard on top. It's got these little end caps on it. I mean, they don't look terrible. This top step here is pretty, uh, pretty aggressive looking. All right, here it all is laid out two running boards, uh, the mounting brackets, all the hardware, the washers, nuts and bolts. So we'll take these guys right here first, four of these on each of these channels right there. All right, now underneath the truck, you guys can see we already have some bolts mounted up into the locations where running boards would go. So we'll pull all these guys out. We'll have an open spot there to mount up the brackets for the running boards. I'm pretty sure it's 13 mil, let's see. Correction, 12 mil. All right, now one of the brackets has a different shape to it to contour to the front most part. Lightly thread these in. These are the bolts that came with the truck. Felt better about using those since they are the ones that came with the truck and already have washers in them too, so nice and easy. Now, I'm not gonna go too crazy. Just enough. Oh, just enough. The last one. So far, very simple. With the brackets kind of installed enough to hold them on, but not in one stiff place. What I'm gonna do now is move these bolts in a place where it lines up with the brackets. Let's go ahead and get the threads through, like so. Right there, bada bing, bada boom. All right, last ones. And boom. What's up, bud? What's up, buddy? Hop on in. What do I see here? Don't forget to use the steps. Give them a whirl. Let's see. Give them a try. Oh, yeah. Those are... You like that? Fantastic. Yes, Game I do. Game changer? Game changer. For the ladies? For the ladies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 100%, sir. I mean, because you have no, like, proper handle here. No, I have, like, the... Flat it up. Let's see. Yeah, I have the... Uh, well, I'll show you guys tomorrow. It's, yeah. it's dark right now, but... Yeah, the handler is not really a handle, it's like a nub. <laughs> so it doesn't help having no steps no. and no handle. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, it holds my big butt up. So funny, the elephant image on the Amazon oh, listing. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, but anyways, here they are. I think from a aesthetic standpoint, look pretty good. They're, I think they're plastic on top and the rest is aluminum. Very simple to install too. Yeah. Took, I don't know, Ow. not long. Yeah, hour, maybe less even. Only thing about side steps though, is it makes it look a little bit shorter. It does. Makes the, yeah, the ground clearance not yeah. look as much, but aside from that, I mean, it's pretty, pretty cool looking. I like it, but what we gotta do now is black out your badging. Yes. Yeah. You down? I'm down. All right. And then next, the wrap. That's that's what we're doing next, yeah. the wrap? We're going to wrap it? Yeah. Really? What color? Gold green. What? Yeah. The Verde Solaris? Yeah. 
Like my tundra? Yeah. You're not down. I'm down. Are you actually? I am. You guys heard it. I am. A wrapping Tim's Tacoma Verde Solaris. Are we really? Yeah. All right, let's get her home, man, and block out those badges. Should we remove SR5? SR5 together. Just remove it all together? All together. And then block out Tacoma, and you have a badge in the rear, the four by four. That's pretty much it for blocking everything out, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much it. Now it's steps were worth it. This is what it's all about right here. All right, Sam, don't, don't get too close to the wall here now. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I will tell you though, the view is a lot better out here. A little overcast, but pretty dope. Oh, steps were pretty well. Yeah, this is a freaking joke, dude. That nub? It, <laughs> it's a lip, if that. That looks like a workout video. Influencers in the wild. I thought that wasn't us a minute ago. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude, it's getting dark so early now. It's like six o'clock. Lame. So what we're gonna do is black out the four x four badge here and the Tacoma lettering here on the door. And we'll just pop off the SR5 badge and no one's gonna know. They might know, but they might know. it's all good. They might know. You guys might know. They'll know, we'll know, but no one else. All good. What we're using today is gonna be some of that good old plastic, man. Stuff's really popular for doing wheels and badges and window trims and stuff like that. So it's a, uh, a removable, it sprays on and once it dries, it's like a vinyl wrap pretty much. All right, we're doing five coats. First coat's a light coat. 50% transparency. Get all angles. Not too crazy. A bunch of yellow well, dust. A bunch of yellow dust, yeah. Uh, other than that, other than that. Like it was never there. Yeah. Okay, so all the badges have been all blacked out with some plastic dip, put five coats on it, and we are pretty much ready to peel. It should be ready pretty soon at least. I don't think it's actually all the way dry quite yet, but it'll peel off in one piece off the paint and it'll stay on the badge. Uh, might be ready. Oh, nope, it's breaking. So needs more time to dry, but once it uh, fully dries, I'll peel it off the paint and it'll stay on the badge. And then I removed the SR5 badge for you too, but yeah, it's looking a little, yeah. a little, a little dusty. dusty right now. That's all right, I'll just go dry really, really fast and I'll blow off. And I might have to buff it tomorrow because there might be a little bit of cloudiness from the uh, eraser wheel. Gotcha. So I might have to buff that off for you, but that's pretty simple. Let's give us a little more time. In the meantime, let's grab some food and uh, give that time to kind of dry out all the way and cure and then we'll come back to it and then peel it all off and then see how it tomorrow. Sounds good. Again, fancy tonight, North Italia. For some spaghetti and meatball. We got Lambos out here. Turned ourselves right tonight. Look at that. I got the uh, short rib. Short rib, there you go, what's in there? Somewhere in there, that's I don't like know. Onions. Bunch of like carrots and stuff? I don't know. <laughs> Asparagus? It's the meat lovers right there. It's got protein all over it. Tim's a meat lover. <laughs> Very least so. Now, if you guys haven't ever used plastic dip before, the key is more coats. The more coats, the better. Because the more coats you have, the thicker it is and the easier it is to remove it from the areas you don't want it on. And eventually, if you want to peel it off, whatever you put it on, it comes off really easy too. A nice one uniform piece. And just like that, man. Bada bing, bada boom. You grab a toothpick. The trick with plastic dip is to use a toothpick. This makes it really easy to get in the middle of the letters here. Oh, ho, ho. what you think about that? That is amazing. Just like that. All right, guys, the badging is looking good. Tim, what you think? It is amazing. All blacked out. All right. blacked out, looking right. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, clean up the where the badging was here on the door because the eraser wheel kind of like fuzzed up the uh, paint a little bit. So bring it on in. You guys can see it's kind of just hazy, right? It's not terrible, but yeah, the eraser wheel sometimes does that on the paint. 
um, where it kind of fogs up the clear coat a little bit. So here's what I gotta do is grab my, uh, my bag right there, my polishing bag. Uh, and I don't know how I'm gonna get that without some steps. Wouldn't you know it? We got some steps right there. Do you think? Yes, Dan? sir. Yes, Coated sir. Clutch. Dang, son. Wow. Now that's the shiniest part of your entire truck. Yes. Wow. Got to do the whole thing now, dude. And the whole thing now. it's standing out too much. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. I mean, bring it back. Look at this. Look at that. Look at Comparing that. that to this. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious. That's the move right there. That's the move? What is that called? McGuire's Ultra Cut Compound. Gotcha. Where do you pick that up? What stores? Same place as you, bro. Yeah? Amazon. Amazon? How, how, how were those steps? Like, oh, fantastic, yeah. man. Love it. Cool. Let's roll out. Every time I, I do something on his truck, he gets less and less humble. Came over today and he was like, you know, I was driving here and I saw a stock Tacoma and I was like, stock Tacoma, that's a freaking guy, dude. So it was actually Tim's idea to black the badges out. I said to leave them, just remove them all together. Tim's got the ideas now, man. He's a, a real truck guy now, dude. It's first truck and he's got better ideas than me now. I mean, it's clean having it not on there, but that two-tone black's always nice too. The matte black on the, the gloss black paint looks pretty sweet. And then we removed the SR5 badge, nice and clean. And now that's the shiniest part of the entire truck. Dude, Toyota paint's so bad. Look at this. Yeah. Truck's brand new, look at all the swirls already. But yeah, as far as the uh, Com Nova Amazon specials, not bad for 260 bucks yeah. from 290 to 260 with the coupon right now. Yeah. Pretty freaking cheap, dude. How long it last? Well, who knows? But what's next now? Next now? Yeah, maybe, what are you feeling? Maybe the new exhaust. Your new Zoss, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Magnaflow, right? Magnaflow, yeah. Okay. And after that, the wrap of your, uh, put your Tundra wrap on this. Yeah, so Tim was inspired by the Verde, the Verde Solaris for the Tacoma. That'd be pretty sick right there. Do that green gold color. Yes. Dude, imagine. Oh, that'd be so tight. Dude. The black on black is treating me right though, dude. It looks really good all blacked out, but. It's just hard to keep it paint clean. Hard to keep it, dude. It shows everything yes, too. It, it shows all the dust, all the swirls. Look at this swirl galore yeah black is not forgiving whatsoever so i think a new wrap is uh is on the top priority for sure if we're doing a wrap on this thing dude it's it's yeah, yeah it should be up there on the priority list yeah, for sure if i wrap it mm -hmm. how long probably three, three months three months yeah, yeah yeah okay i need uh i need like three days to wrap it uh -huh. and then you know two months and three weeks give or take to just drive it around town oh, to okay. make sure it's holding okay i gotta make sure you know it's bonding to the paint properly and gotcha. i gotta do that by driving it around you know getting lunch grocery shopping oh, taking off roading a few times I, I gotta make sure that the wrap is going to adhere to the paint yes. by having your truck for a couple of months is that oh, fair that's, that is fair okay that's fair. cool perfect so wow. uh yeah your wrap coming pretty soon here on the taco you guys heard it Hold him to it, dude. If he doesn't do it now, you, you said it now. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. you got you to do it now. Yes. And then next, on the bed here, I'm gonna put a flagpole on here. Nice, dude. Flags. Heck yeah. In the meantime, that's all we have for you guys for today. And we'll see you guys soon. Till then, peace. Hey, it's Dr. Cone over there, man. It ain't right there. Not good, not good. <laughs> it's Dr. Cone, man, without a tailgate, too. <laughs>